the content on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only. Please contact your financial advisor for any financial questions you may have concerning your investments. Growing up, we didn't get exposed to a lot of the heavy finances. We barely got exposed to how to write a checkbook back in high school. And I'm a, as a Gen Xer, we did actually have a formal education on how to balance a checkbook as well as some bookkeeping, making T accounts, debits and credits, that kind of deal. But when it came to finances, especially trading, there was no outlet at that time. I want to attempt to correct that by offering this study group up as a way to build generational wealth and knowledge. Now, the way I'm going to approach this is just like how I would approach this when I was teaching middle school. We're going to take them one module at a time. A lot of the restrictions on this channel and with AdSense when we're trying to monetize this thing is that you now have to have some type of credentialing to even begin talking about trading because we're not experts, right? But as a study group, we're going to be going through these modules one at a time. And I don't think we should be brushing up against any gray areas there. This is me going through this with you, and this is how we're going to get started. Now, what you're going to need is to download the Thinkorswim app or at least access the web portal. I'm recommending that you get you a nice computer and you download it directly to your computer. We're going to be using the paper money side of Thinkorswim so we can effectively do some pretty heavy um, trades without messing up your real money. Um, you're going to go to this website here and you're going to download it and we'll go through the walkthrough one module at a time. Let's get started. Depending on what you're trying to accomplish, Thinkorswim comes in really three different flavors, the desktop, the web, and the mobile version. But for what we are trying to accomplish here, we're going to go with the full featured desktop version. Um, the web is streamlined, so you may not have all the features that we're going to be going over with these modules. It is recommended that you go ahead and download that Thinkorswim desktop app on your Windows PC. Now, I do believe they may have one for a Mac, but if not, this is a download for Windows, and this is the demonstration device that we're going to be using. After you click that link that I showed you before, just going to go over to your download files, and there's the executable, and just double click it. It'll begin the install process. First things first, we're going to go ahead and click on OK, and accept the defaults here. Welcome to the Thinkorswim setup wizard. Hit next. You have the option to do Thinkorswim guest pass 30 days trial account. We already have an account if you've already set up your actual Thinkorswim account and you will just be switching between your actual um, account and the paper money. We'll get to that later. Hit next. Acknowledge these license agreements and user license agreements. I've never seen one situation where this kind of rump with skill skin type of agreement has ever hurt you. But hey, it's always good practice to at least acknowledge it. Go ahead and hit next. Install for the current user. Yep, I don't want anybody else using this stuff. This is just another layer of security here. It's gonna install it to your local hard drive C users, okay? It is going to use 146 megs of data. I currently have about 60 gig free. I use one of those really non-volatile memory drives. So it's a very quiet machine that I have. Start menu integration. Uh, do you want to put it in the start menu? Do you want to put an icon on your desktop? Those are your choices. You want to create a quick launch icon. I like a clean desktop. I'll go ahead and put a quick launch. I'll put it down in your area down here. Click next. And register the application. Next. 
This is a Windows message. You're going to hit yes on that Windows message that pops up and the installation will begin. And just like that, it's finished. It'll give you the option to go ahead and run it just by clicking finish. And there you have it. After the updates have completed, and it took about two or three minutes for those updates to finish, you're going to be brought to a login screen. Now, this is the same login ID that you're going to select for your actual account. But fear not, you have the option to set up or use the paper money side of the Thinkorswim application. This is just like Monopoly money for trading. You're not going to actually use any money that you put into your account to do these modules that we're going to be going through. That way we can get a full feel of how it is to make a trade based on real time information. It's going to pull up some of the modules and the links here. We're going to get to the actual names of what each one of these boxes mean and how to manipulate them. But just get to this part and agree to your terms and accept and proceed. And this is going to give us the workspace setups that we want. Whether we're going to be doing defaults, future trading, active trader, long term, foreign exchange and options. We're going to go ahead and I think for me and for the first thing we do before we do the default, I want to get into those E futures. different screens. We're going to get to all this. Just go ahead and click all the defaults, hit next. Um, look and feel of the setups. Also, obviously, we're going to be looking at uh, candlestick trading. Definitely something I want to put together for this channel. A little cheat sheet, a chart of the more common trading patterns that will help us become better informed about what's happening or how to predict some of the events. All right. Check out a few of the tutorials or jump in and start exploring. These are the explorers that we're going to be looking at. The overview, getting started with Thinkorswim charts, how to buy stock on Thinkorswim desktop, tutorials, workspace, and look and feel. We're going to go ahead and get started, but we're going to pay attention to those tutorials. And that's that. And we're going to stop the tutorial right here. Just get the install done and make sure you understand what we're doing. Now, my preference is to get into the micro e mini futures, but the modules may not go that route. We'll do the modules in order. And if we have any questions, We'll just post them there afterwards. But the goal is to do them in the futures. I'll talk to you later.